Welcome to A Fables A Day, in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables A Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 135 Assemble, part four of Camelot, in which the crowd arrives, witches are missing something, and Snow isolates the wolves. We open with Snow on the phone, calling in a debt to intercept one of Rose's knights when they go out. Meanwhile, over in that field with the card table, which now has a giant castle being built in it, all of the greatest heroes, those in need of second chances, and even just dapper pigs, are meeting at the card table Rose set up. Wayland is still working on getting a new table, which is basically just a giant cut of redwood at this point, and Brandish is digging foundation trenches for the giant castle, with some of his peers recognizing him for some good old-fashioned humiliation. Rose then addresses the crowd about how she is going to choose from the crowd her knights who will venture out and bring second chances to the land, yet she's not too sure how she's going to select the worthy for her order. Meanwhile, Ozma and the rest of the 13th floor witches are around the now mostly whole Bigby statue, yet there is one piece missing. We get a small cutover showing that that piece is sitting on an end table next to a woman in front of a fire. And finally, Snow tells her children that Aunt Rose is off limits, and if she or any of her new companions try to make contact with any of the kids, they're to fly away and tell Snow immediately. She can't lose another child at this point. So Snow's definitely giving off a mommy dearest vibe at the end of this, but it's the sort of understandable variety that knowing all the just total crap she's been having to endure for the last forever is building up, but that doesn't mean we can't point out that she's slipping into a not good place. And I'm calling it now, Lee has the chunk of Bigby. She's been inactive in this for the last couple issues, and there's only 14 more issues left in this series for her revenge, so something's gotta give in that. And while I don't know how long the Camelot story goes, tomorrow we'll find out who's going to be the new Knights of the Round Table. They'll dance when they're able to do routines, but anyways, I'll see you tomorrow.